Hi, folks. This is Ada. Today, we are going to compare two important digital signature algorithms, Elliptic Curve Digital Signature Algorithm and Edwards Curve Digital Signature Algorithm. But before we begin, please like the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest videos. Also, your comments are more than welcome. Thank you for your all support in advance. Elliptic Curve Digital Signature Algorithm or shortly ECDSA and Edwards Curve Digital Signature Algorithm or shortly EDDSA are both public key digital signature algorithms used for signing and verifying messages, but they differ in several key aspects. 1. Curve Form ECDSA uses elliptic curves in the Weierstrass form, while EDDSA uses elliptic curves in the Edwards form. The Weierstrass form has the equation y squared is equal to x to the third power plus ax plus b, while the Edwards form has the equation minus x squared plus y squared is equal to 1 plus d times x squared y squared, where a, b, and d are constants that define the curve. 2. Security EDDSA is generally considered to be more secure than ECDSA. EDDSA provides a stronger level of security with the use of the Edwards curve form which offers built-in protection against several types of attacks, such as timing attacks and side-channel attacks. On the other hand, ECDSA may be vulnerable to certain attacks, such as side-channel attacks, if not implemented carefully. 3. Key Generation In ECDSA, the key generation process involves selecting a random private key and computing the corresponding public key. In EDDSA, the key generation process is more efficient as it involves selecting a random private key and generating the corresponding public key directly without any additional computations, which makes it faster and more secure. 4. The signature generation In ECDSA, the signature generation process involves multiple steps, including random number generation and modular arithmetic operations, which can be computationally expensive. In EDDSA, the signature generation process is more efficient and faster, as it involves fewer computations and does not require random number generation, making it more resistant to certain types of attacks. 5. Hashing ECDSA requires the use of an additional hash function to hash the message before signing, whereas EDDSA incorporates the message directly into the signature process without the need for an additional hash function. This can simplify the implementation and reduce the chances of security vulnerabilities associated with hash function selection and usage. 6. Key Sizes The key sizes used in ECDSA and EDDSA are different. Generally, EDDSA keys are smaller compared to ECDSA keys for equivalent security levels, which means that EDDSA can provide equivalent security with smaller key sizes making it more efficient in terms of storage and bandwidth requirements. In summary, EDDSA is a newer digital signature algorithm that is considered to be more efficient, faster, and more secure compared to ECDSA. It offers built-in protection against certain types of attacks and requires smaller key sizes, making it suitable for various applications, especially in resource-constrained environments. However, the choice between ECDSA and EDDSA depends on specific use cases, security requirements, and implementation considerations. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.